Olympics in 2000. He brings a wealth of experience. Sanderson missed the 2001 World Championships because of 9-11, and then missed the 2002 World Championships because the State Department wouldn't let the team travel to Iran. So he's only had one major event at the world level last year where he took a silver. And he's been facing a lot of pressure and expectation to get it all done here. Kind of unfair to him, but they got used to that performance in the college level, and right now he is being tested here. Yoel Romero of Cuba ahead one to nothing with 25 seconds remaining in the first period. And the two very cautious, neither one of them being overly aggressive. Romero sort of forcing the tie right there, staying close to Sanderson. Sanderson likes to initiate his attack. A little bit from the outside, and he's going to score here. There it is. One point for the takedown. Five seconds remaining in the first period. He doesn't like to be too tight. Once he creates a little space, he's able to execute. And so it is tied 1-1 in this semifinal match at 185 pounds. We get underway here at 84 kilograms, 185 pounds. This is the semifinals. We're tied right now, and here's how the action went. Cale Sanderson had the final shot to score a takedown. He got a little room pushing away from Romero, dropped down, seized the ankle, drove him down for the tying point. Second uh, and final period here in the, this match. Freestyle wrestling, you can attack upper body, you can attack the legs, and we have two great ones here. Going at it, the test here to see who can get out of the semifinals and into the finals in this weight division. As we said before, Romero was a world champion in this weight class. He was a silver medalist in Sydney. Must have three points to win at the end of six minutes. And another Sanderson in shot. another attack. Another got, attack. Got that right ankle again. Finished cleanly. That's what the U.S. coaches, particularly Kevin Jackson, had said. He wants Sanderson not to stay on his knees. And if he does take the shot, finish quickly and most importantly, cleanly. And for the first time in the match, Cale Sanderson is ahead two to one. Just under two minutes remaining. A look of confidence there on the face of Romero. Didn't think like he was worried about any turn. I think Romero wants this to be a takedown game. Romero would like to keep this battle in the standing position, bring his speed into play. And there you see the quickness of Sanderson. He gets to that ankle before Romero can react. And he finished quickly and cleanly, getting behind, scoring the point. And again! Sanderson putting on a clinic on how to get in on Romero. Finishes strong. Well, he has come out intense in the second period. Ahead right now, three to one over Romero of Cuba. A lot of pressure on Cale Sanderson of the United States. He's the only wrestler ever to be on a Wheaties box. And, of course, that was for his four NC2A titles in undefeated fashion when he was at Iowa State. Here's a look at that shot and takedown. He got in on the leg, was on his knees a little bit, but got his head up, back straight. Another good shot of it here. Drives the leg down. Now he cuts across to the double, head up, good drive. Putting Romero down to the mat. He now leads three to one. This match can end in regulation. And a minute and 15 seconds remaining in this match. They will stop the action in the parterre position, bring them up to their feet. A little extra communication there between the referee and Cale Sanderson in the red singlet. Romero now on the offense. Good shot by Romero. He'll, oh, Sanderson does a good job of turning and facing. It seemed Romero had the opportunity to turn the corner, but Sanderson's quickness able to counter. And we're down to a minute remaining here for Cale Sanderson or Yoel Romero to get to the gold medal match. Who will it be? Sanderson ahead right now, three to one in control of this match but anything can happen in freestyle wrestling sanderson does not want to back out of bounds under attack and he turns towards the center a good tactic there but how many times has sanderson been behind in his life he doesn't have a lot of practice at holding on to a lead late in the match he's always ahead and i'm impressed with his reaction on defense when you consider how aggressive he has been in offense in his entire life he's really taking the match away from romero good ties Turning, just don't back out of bounds. Referee warning him about it. 30 seconds remaining. Who will go on to the match for the gold? So dominant in college. Oh, he doesn't want to give up back exposure here. He can give up a takedown and not lose. He just doesn't want to give up the two-point tilt, and now he's in good position. 
He's got Romero flat. Well, conditioning a factor in the end of the match, a powerful wrestler, Romero, but right now a little tired at the end of the match, and we will stalemate it right here. Only eight seconds to go in this match at 185 pounds. Good stance, stay in the center, and this match belongs to Sanderson. Just don't back out of bounds. Four seconds remaining. Oh, they're going to give a point to Romero. They didn't even go out of bounds. Almost Chairman like they were looking it. for Sherman. Chairman, Chairman confirmed, confirmed it. it. One point for Romero. Now three to two. Sanderson needs to stay in the match. And there it is. An impressive performance for Kale Sanderson of the United States. He has been a man on a mission here in his first Olympic Games. Gets a little tap of appreciation from Joel Romero of Cuba. And our winner, Kale Sanderson of the United States, 185 pounds. He wins the match and will go on for the gold medal later on. What an impressive display of technique and aggressiveness. Let's take a look at how that happened, Jeff. Well, I believe Romero played into Sanderson's strength, and that was making a takedown game. And Sanderson, so good at that low ankle shot, able to score takedown after takedown. Here's his second point. Same type of shot. Very strong, very creative. No one's ever really been able to hang on the head and then drop down to the ankle the way Sanderson does. A powerful finish for the third point. And your winner, let's go down to land with Sanderson.